Let's do the mail. And the Oscars are insisting that all future films meet strict diversity quotas in their tireless quest to make new movies even worse, Josh. Uh, yeah, certainly not John Wick 5 <laughs> coming soon. Oscar voters slam the Academy's completely ridiculous new Best Picture diversity rules because they make the selection contrived and previous winners, including The Godfather and Schindler's List, would not even qualify. Now, I'm not 100% sure about that, actually, because Schindler's List, there, there are four groups of rules that are going to be brought in now in that you have to have a lead... Uh, who is uh, from a minority group, or you have to su have a subject matter uh, for, from an ethnic uh, group, or, uh, or it's got to be the cast, or it's got to be more on the production end. So there's these different things. You have to meet two of these four, and if you're not, then you're not going to be able to... And you have maybe, I think it's 30% of your cast has to be from underrepresented under groups. But anyway, the point is Schindler's List, arguably... Well, it's not arguably, Jews are an ethnic group, so that probably actually would go through. But still... Like Gladiator, All the President's Men. And also, what about if they're going to make um, sort of uh, what, like um, historical dramas where like some, something in the Middle Ages in England or whatever. And, and then what? They can only does that mean that they could only make that movie if or at least it could be up for an award if 30 percent of the crew were black or Asian or whatever it is. What if they just don't get an award? But I imagine there'll be some kind of new punk scene of movies where... Racist movies. Well, no, not necessarily. I just... All white people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great. Just, just stuff for you guys to enjoy. No, I'm saying... I think if it's possible that there could be some kind of underground movement away from this, or maybe another awards ceremony will spring up. Yeah. Because things mm. can be cyclical, can't they? Hollywood isn't forever. No, they will. But the, the Academy starts a lot of power. And the reason I say it's going to ruin movies is not because of, of any group of people. It's because enforcing things, activism over art. This is the apotheosis yeah. of activism trumping art. And there's some very legitimate points, like... Can you ask someone, are you gay, are you disabled? That's protected character. You can't actually do that legally. So that's a big problem if you have to hit a certain number of people. And the, the one that I found particularly absurd was the idea that the storyline must be centred on an underrepresented uh, group. So you're telling us what the story has to be. Mm -hmm. This is absurd. And it, Hollywood is so strange. I hear more and more stories about people who disagree with all this stuff, but they can't say it publicly. And we just saw it in a different industry with Take That with Howard, who had to back down for liking some very normal tweets. And I just think... Remember, there's actually a thing called Friends of Abe, or there was, in Hollywood, where uh, Jeremy Boring, who started The Daily Wire, was in it. If you were conservative in Hollywood, you had to be a part of a secret society called Friends of Abe. I mean, how absurd is that? So the, the, the people hate this. And what I'm getting from this article is that all the people working in Hollywood just really hate this, but they just don't well, know what People they're... don't like their kind of interference, as you say, into art. But, they, but it's also fuzzy rules, fuzzy thinking. A film like Parasite, which uh, got won an Oscar a couple of years ago, that's a South Korean movie. Now, when we say underrepresented, what do we mean? Underrepresented for the American market? Because mm -hmm. it's a, in, in South Korea, it featured all only South Koreans. The crew were all South Korean, so they weren't underrepresented in their own nation. Good so point. We need more English people in Parasite. Uh, 